in the Wall Street uh -huh. Journal, which I have. I have it right here. Uh, did everybody see the article in the Wall Street Journal? Uh, we actually made the real estate section. You know, I drooled over the real estate sections for years, and I read all these communities that the New York Times and other publications uh, showcase and always wish that they were showcasing us. So the title of the article was Patchog Offers Sea Shacks to Queen Anne's. And I just want to just read a couple of quotes. Um, today locals say Patchog is experiencing a revival as redevelopment efforts add hundreds of housing units within walking distance of downtown. And a new generation of residents and tourists has discovered a vibrant commercial center close to a picturesque bay. The phenomenon that's going on right now that I just keep on hearing over and over again it is just full of young people, and young people have really discovered Patchogue as a fun place to be. And this is from a realtor, uh, Gary King of Swan Realty. And that has brought the downtown alive. Uh, a little bit further on, Patchogue's median listing price in April was $285,900, a 10% rise from the same month, 2013. So I think, I mean, Real estate is on the rise in a lot of places in the United States, but I think 10% outside of Manhattan, which is having a boom, but I think 10% is, uh, is pretty darn good in today's environment. Uh, so they had some lovely pictures of Brick House, the theater, Main Street, and, uh, and then they showed a couple of houses that were on the market. It was a great article. It really was. It really was. It was very surprising. When they called last week, it made it sound like it was going to be one of these Newsday articles if it didn't <coughs> And it really ended up. It's like two They set a spread yeah. and then in the real estate section yeah. open it up. And That's pretty you exciting. Put a link on our website and I'll be uh, One of the things that I found really interesting about the article, assuming that you can trust the statistics from the Wall Street Journal, was uh, the educational attainment of uh, that job. Yes. Uh, it's uh, mm -hmm. not. not it's materially above the state average. 87% of students who entered high school in Patrick Metro in 2009 met or exceeded state standards for proficiency in English language compared with 81% statewide. And 88% did so in math compared with 84% statewide. Because I, I know we have an inherent bias. I, I mean, I've only been here 11 years, but I, mean, I don't think that schools as good schools, and they are. It was interesting about that very quickly. I had sent a copy of just a note to Tad Waldauer. He lives in Somerset, New Jersey, and his dad had been born there. And uh, about 10 minutes later, I got a response from him. He said, I've read it already. A friend of mine who works with UPS in Boston had sent him a note, and another friend of his in Washington, D.C. had sent him. And they were just looking through it as people looking through it. So, it really does, you know, the New York Times News, they really kind of take care of us here, but that's the leadership of Wall Street Journal. Yeah. Yeah. I spent more on Wall Street Journal this weekend than both of them. It's not easy to see online if you don't have a subscription. Uh, I don't know how I got in. I just kept trying. <laughs> Go to Google. You get right. Uh, I, I did. I, I eventually got in. So uh, 